chocolate cookie sandwiches. That's <laughs> what we're making today, everybody. No donuts. Clearly. The title cookie says it all. The recipe doesn't call for marshmallows, but we're kind of like, let's... Let's put some marshmallows on there. We got our mixing pot. Jack skeleton. Measuring cups. <laughs> and you need the spoons for measuring as well. <laughs> I told I them one, one thing. I told them take out the almond flour. Because I was asking, almond flour or coconut flour? And he said, let's go with the almond flour. But did he take it out? I just took it out. He can yeah. also just blend almonds uh, without the skin. Just blend it. Almond flour is a lot better for you than regular flour. So if you would like to give something healthier and replace your flour with something that's not bad like regular flour, use almond flour. Brought to you by almonds. The recipe calls for um, hazelnut butter. I could not find hazelnut butter. Sadly, not at the stores that we went to here. I'm using no salt, no sugar, creamy almond butter. Maple syrup. Vanilla from Mexico. After giving it a good mix, it should kind of look like this. I haven't tasted it. Do you want to give it the first taste? I'll give it the taste test. That tastes really good. Really? Yeah. Struggled a little bit opening up the coconut oil. Oh, I see why they say, uh, Refrigerate after opening, not buy at the store and refrigerate it immediately. The mistake I made. Bake 350, 10 to 12 minutes. Ben, the red light is off, so I think it's time to put those babies in the oven. I'm a baby. <laughs> One cup of chocolate. It's a lot of chocolate, but the good kind. Now we're gonna add some syrup to it. Two. Two. They look so good. Look at that. Feels like it's been forever that I've been waiting to actually eat it. Open. Chocolate. You should probably add more. I'm adding like a lot. You wanna add a lot to it? If you want. That's a lot of chocolate. That thing's gonna be stacked. We finished our first one. I'm already in a food coma from eating Red Robin, but I'll put myself further into a food coma just to taste this. Here we go. That is the best dessert that I've helped make so far. Congratulations. Nice job. Come on, don't leave me hanging. There you go. I'm still not eating mine because as you can tell, the marshmallow starts to melt. So I put mine in the fridge. Like it should have been in the fridge, but here Mr. Chubby Wubby Bunny was oh, like, I'm gonna eat mine right now. So I left my cookies in the fridge for a few minutes. They kind of hardened a bit, as you can tell. They're not very melty like Ben's were. Mmm. Whoa. The fridge helped the marshmallow stay in place. The chocolate, it's not runny. Really like these. It tastes like a cookie with chocolate and marshmallow. I decided to redo the recipe and instead of doubling with almond flour, I ended up doing protein powder, baking protein powder. They still came out really beautiful. The dough did look more cookie form. Um, when we did it the first time, the almonds, what would you say, kind of look crumbly? Mm -hmm. I used leftover chocolate from yesterday, so it's, <laughs> they're, they're big chunks. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where to bite from. Mm. Whoa. Like the one yesterday was a lot sweeter, 
But with this one, I don't feel as bad eating it. They're both really tasty, but this one definitely like you don't feel like you're gonna regret your choices from the previous day to the next day. I don't think the same way as he does. The yesterday cookies were not sweet at all. They really weren't sweet. I, just like these, I layered up on the chocolate and marshmallow. I did not taste it very sweet. It was perfect for me. I could just taste almond flour. Today, it evens out everything, but it's not sweet. It's perfect, great taste of a cookie. There's a crunch to it. You gave yesterday's what, an eight, a nine out of 10? Or would you give it, this one? I would give this one a nine out of 10 too. Because my baking skills are not that great. Well, for it to be like a 10 out of 10, it's gotta like, you know, cure cancer or something. You know what I mean? <sighs> So that says 10 out of 10, but I actually would give this a 10 out of 10. It's really good, super easy, healthy, not too sweet. It's perfect.